remember I weighed 0.15 gram of the compound, added a milliliter of methylene chloride to it and about 0.5 gram of alumina. Now this is how it looks. You can take a spatula. Just mix it well. Just break down any lumps if there are. And turn it into a nice homogeneous powder mixture. Meaning uniform looking. There is no such thing as a real homogeneous solid mixture because if you take a portion of the solid mixture from one side and determine the composition, it may be different from the same mixture at another point. Okay. So, if you notice now, this is a very fine powder mixture of our unknown with alumina. So, we are going to load this sample that is what it is called load the sample on to the column. So use a spatula and carefully transfer the sample. If you want to use a funnel Make sure the funnel that you are going to use is very dry. You can use the funnel, but if it is wet with solvent, the sample will stick to the funnel. Then you will have to rinse the funnel with more solvent, which is not very advisable. The rinsing has to be done with minimum amount of solvent. After carefully transferring, all of the solid mixture onto the column, you notice that there is still a little bit sticking onto the beaker surface. What you want to do is, you still want to rinse it, but with very few drops. Of hexane, not any other solvent. Rinse it with hexane and transfer that onto the column. Now that I use this dropper for transferring my sample, I cannot use that dropper to take pure hexane. So get a fresh pipette to use for your solvent. Few more drops. and rinse it along the sides, making sure that whatever is sticking onto the side of the column is also getting rinsed. If there is a tiny bit left, it is okay at this point because we do not want to have too much sample over our alumina surface. So let us just continue to rinse it with a few more drops only in the column, not the beaker anymore. Now, you can gently tap it if you want. Also, we want to add some more sand on top of our sample. Another layer, same reason because our sample and alumina have finer surface and we do not want any depression caused by solvent on top of that layer. So, a third sand layer, first sand layer, second above alumina, third above our sample. Okay. And now what you want to do, before you fill the column with uh, solvent, 
we want to load the sample on to the column. So, I am just going to rinse the sides. You notice that there are some sand particles on the sides of the column. So, just rinse it with hexane. Now, we will turn this open. From this point on, we should not close the stopcock. Once the sample has started loading onto our solid adsorbent, this should never be turned off. So, make sure that your solvent level does not go below the sand level at any point from now on. This should not be closed. The solvent has to remain above the sand level. 